and the light in your eyes. You wanna woo with me, you wanna woo with me, yeah. But tell me, can you feel it? With the sweat on your face and the light in your eyes. I see you looking at me, but tell me.
Okay, can we hear me? Yeah. Hello, how's everyone doing? Um, welcome to another production stream. So um, I'm kind of just figuring out what I'm gonna do. I haven't got anything planned yet. And I also made a decision that um, I wanna try and produce using my laptop speakers like I normally do. That's the only thing that, I'm, that I've been doing on these production streams that's not been um, completely authentic. The only workaround that I've done is that I've been using the, the headphone, um, yeah, the, the Sennheiser headphones, which I don't normally do. And I get to the end of the stream and I'm like, um, this sounds a bit weird, you know? I'm just not, I'm just not really used to the sound. Ironically, my bass sounds worse. So like the edit that I was doing last night, I came off stream, listened to the bass, and I'm like, I've never have done that. Um, so yeah, anyway. Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna try and do that, which means I'm gonna have to mute my microphone and, um, and turn it back on again. I'll probably make some mistakes. It'll have to remind me that, I've, that I haven't turned the microphone off or I haven't turned it on, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out, so. Um, all right, I kind of did, uh, let's show the Ableton thing here. That's wrong. Why is it doing that? Two seconds. Let's do this. Okay, my, my system preferences, displays, mirror displays. seconds let's try that now voila voila okay yeah so i started a beat um I, and literally as i clicked um as i clicked stream i put a, i put a bass line in but i'm gonna try and um So that's all I have at the moment. Um, and I was gonna put a bass in. So why, why is that not working? Because the cable's unplugged. That's not good. So if anyone's got any uh, suggestions of what they think I should do, feel free to suggest. I will feel free to ignore or listen. It's a free country. Um, so let me just get a bass tone. Which I kind of had one here before. What did I put in here?
All right, that's a rough pattern. Something to get something started with. And you see, I'm gonna just try to break some keys and I don't know, just chase a vibe. I've got no plans, I'm just messing around. <laughs> I did go yell ahead. So anyway, how's everyone doing? Alan, I don't worry, I don't worry about anything. There's nothing to worry about. Let's try this, let's see what's in this thing. I don't even know where this came from. Okay, I have a rough idea in my in my head. Some have been bagged. I am I've got no plans to play anywhere. Like zero plans. But I'd love to get back. I think this is gonna be a miracle if this uh, this idea actually ends up becoming anything. It can be quite embarrassing being on stream, creating something from scratch and having no ideas in your head. But let's see where this goes. I feel no pressure.
I have an unbelievable amount of shit ideas on this computer. Every day I try to make something and most of them are terrible. And then I let you hear a couple of them that are all right. That's how it goes. Is the audio cutting again? Fuck. Two seconds. Let me fix it. Uh, audio me set up. This should be 48. 48. Uh, speaker, display port. 48, 48, audio, 48. Output audio, 48. What's the other thing that you need to do? Audio here. Little volume mixer. No, it is cutting out, isn't it? Let me grab my headphones. We're going to headphones again. See this preferences. Right. Yeah, I can see this audio cutting out again. Ah, uh, guys, when it, why does it, why does it have, all have to be so awkward? 
what so the audio what could it be yeah it's now it's, it's cutting out i can actually see it cutting out on the um um you watch this all right i'll play the beat and it'll cut in and out ready See, it just cut out. Now it's back. I know what to do. I'll do this. I'll move to cam only and um, I'll restart the computer. See if that works. What a pain in the backside. Anyway, anyone got any questions? You might as well ask me some questions. <laughs> um, while I restart this. Did anyone uh, check out the new edit that I've put up? <laughs> the, uh, the edit of Josemont, All Night Alone. It was fun. Um, for, for those of you that uh, didn't hear the story, um, it was a track that Chris Lorenzo played to me. He he got the he he got the original and uh, by an artist in uh, Italy called Josemont. And I heard the track and I loved it, but I just wanted to make an edit of a uh, an edit to make it fit into my sets a bit more, have it more sonically hit the way I like tracks to hit. So um, yeah, I did that and then never really got an opportunity to play it out. So sucks but it's out now um it's the first record in years that i've like not played uh not played in clubs before releasing it which is odd and uh yeah it's doing well i'm happy with this it. streaming well uh people are buying it on beatport uh for well, the extended version because i think we've got an exclusive on the extended version on beatport and i'll put a link in the uh in the chat here for you to check it out so um yeah i'm happy with that all right let's see if this works how do i make the distortion on my kicks um it all depends i don't intentionally distort them i i often use samples and build up layers of sounds to kind of create my kick so um often they'll be like a a big solid subby kick um, at the bottom, and then a, a character kick on the top that gives like the like that audible thump. So, yeah. And yes, I love Omnisphere. Omnisphere is a fantastic plugin. Absolutely fantastic. Um, I don't really use overdrive on my kicks. I use overdrive on a lot of things, but not on. Um, not on kick uh not on kicks it kind of uh it overdrive you have to use very sparingly um or else it, it can completely destroy the 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 low end sonics of the sound so i i tend not to use it on kick um I'll sometimes use it for like the like the upper harmonics for bass which is pretty cool. Make it a bit gritty. So, all right, let's see if this works. I'm just trying to think of the audio. Whereabouts are you from, the, from in the UK? I am from Norfolk. And yes, I use analog gear, but not at the moment because um, I'm in a temporary house, so. So yeah, all right, let's give us another go. I've restarted the computer. Preferences. Collection stream headphones. Play. Open, pick up. I've got none 
the redeeming qualities of a um I've got, I've got none of the qualities that are needed to be a formula one driver one i'm huge i'm heavy i'm not that talented i'm old I've got the reaction times of a turtle um yeah i think sim racing is better for me because the best thing about sim racing is when you crash you can reset it and it hasn't cost you anything except your pride Oh wow, that's a lot of sub in there. I had no idea that was going on. None of that's going through now, right? There's no audio going through, right? You can't hear this. What the fuck? Nothing's changed. Hang on, let me figure this out. Dude, it's just crazy. This has all been right, right running perfectly. Hang on, let's try this. Timber music, yeah, I do do song critiques. Um, it's kind of like rolled in with the um, uh, the demo listening sessions. We did the, we do those on Tuesdays, which have been a lot of fun. I am so confused. I've got no idea what's going on. Oh, well, yeah, sorry, I do now. Mm, idiot. There we go. Is it playing constantly? All right, it seems to be working now. All right, let's see if I can get some nice keys going here. I'm gonna try and make some housey shit. Appreciate you bearing with me. I'm not so sure I really like that sound. I'll try to duplicate this. All right, so this is what's happening. You are watching me try to find something that excites me. Any kind of idea that I can build upon. Um, so it, this is a. Uh, this is not predictable. There's nothing like you can't you can't guarantee that every day you're going to go in the studio and you're going to make something that's exciting. Like the whole idea of these streams, as much as I would love to guarantee that what I'm going to show you on this stream is going to be exciting, inspiring, um, something that's going to come out. I have no idea. I'm guessing probably not, but um, you know, the, the truth is, 
if you're in the studio, it's not always going to work. Sometimes you're going to just like work on things. Things are going to flow. It's, it's going to be fun. Um, but so often you just like do something that's kind of like, yeah, you know, this isn't it. But this is just like part of the um, part of the process, and I'm okay with you seeing it. Just as long as you guys know, don't expect miracles. I've not planned this out. I've got no idea where this is going to go. I'm just going to go through some sounds. I'm, I'm using um, contact libraries today. I'll probably regret this afterwards, but. Oh, some nice warm keys. This Una chord is pretty interesting. Let's have to try this one. Actually, do you know what? I got I got these um, chords that I want to try out. I literally just like MIDI chords, which I've never had before. Um, let me grab them. See how some of these chords actually sound. There's like a whole folder of chords that you can just drag in. Let's try this. Individual chords. Minor chords. See what these sound like. Might get some interesting sounds. Yeah, something like that. I think it's that, that might be it, Twits. Twills, Twits, or whatever your name is. Jeez, that's horrible. Let's pitch this up. Maybe. Take the flange off. That's actually reminds me of some old house stuff. Wrong one. Uh... 
That was dog shit playing. Don't look. It's very deep. Reminds me of um, oh, Joey Negro. Oh, Joey Negro stuff. Yeah, I'm not surprised.
this is probably going to be the shittest stream ever. Vibe, something to inspire me. I'll take an acapella and take a little um, like tone from it. A bit of Alicia Keys. Just like a random point in the track. Do this.
dark. <laughs> I got all these samples of a dirty typist. This is pretty funny. A little to the right of the center of your machine. A little to the In order to become an expert typist, it is essential to master the correct typing technique. In order to don't be stiff and tense. Drop your hands into your lap and relax. Drop your hands into your lap and relax. Drop and a shortage of experienced personnel. And a shortage of ex Look at your hands. No spare time between strokes. No the underwood. And with the two end fingers. And unfortunately, many typists cannot work rapidly and accurately. Un with the middle two fingers. 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 That's so funny. Anyway, I'm just gonna run with this groove for a second. I really definitely hope I can make something half easy because at the moment I feel like I'm just going to make something really. Uh... Where's my drum kits? I keep using these kits at the moment. Thank you for all the new subs. Thank you, LeBlanc. Um, and for the cheers, Welchy Music. Alex Murray for the gifted sub. Manny for the gifted sub. Matt Vanny Kirk. Thank you. Trying random chords. Oh, fucking shit. These are all dog shit. Oh, that was just a quiet. That sound is ridiculous. Is that, is that a lot of sub?
about this face. Yeah, okay, so I just got um I just got a limiter on the master. I just I really don't know what I'm doing here. Just building up a bit of a groove. I'm just gonna see if I can get some nice things going on on top. I'm gonna get a little stab going. Make someone underground. On this here again, I've been using this. Alright, I'll try this. Random sound. around 
of sounds. Guys, I hope you're just following and keeping up. I'm just going all over the place, just trying to capture this vibe, so. Diana Ross. No matter high enough. Remember life holds for you one
follow the sun. I know. I know you must follow the sun. I know. I know you must follow the sun. I know. I know you must follow the sun. I know. I know you must follow the sun. It's kind of weird. I like it. I know. I know you must follow the sun. Wherever it leads. But remember. I know. I know you must follow the sun. Wherever it leads. But remember. Hi. Oh, good old Diana Ross. If you Super excited to make something that I can never release. If you should fall short of your desires, remember life holds for you one guarantee. If you should fall short of your desires, remember life holds for you. If you should fall short of your desires, remember life holds for you one guarantee. I know. I know you must follow the sun. That's actually pretty sick. Man. That's I know. I know you must follow the sun. I know. I know you must follow the sun. I know. I know you must follow the sun. I know. I know you must follow the sun. I know. I know you must follow the sun. I know. I know you must follow the sun. I know. I know you must follow the sun. I know. I know you must follow the sun. I know. I know you must follow the sun. I know. I know you must follow the sun. I know. I know you must follow the sun. I actually didn't time these vocals. I think I just threw them in and they just landed in a pretty nice spot. Um See what else I can get from this acapella. And if you should, you'll always have me. And if you should miss my lover, arms that used to hold you so close, or the lips that used to touch yours so tenderly, just remember what I told you that. Just remember. What I told you, the day I set you free. The day I set you free. I'm gonna make this a new section. It's because I this like this. I like this here. I know. I know you must follow the sun. I know. I know you must follow the sun. I know. That's fucking tight. I really like that. Um, so then I'll do an, another section here. Just duplicate that. Fuck that off. Bend that there. And just work here. Got an idea. Okay, I'm gonna stretch this. I think that's right.
because I'm like, Because a lot of you watching. Hi. Building something there. There's there's some combination that I can make. Um, chops of vocals come together, make it like a new melody, something that feels cohesive. This is nowhere near it right now. I'll get there. I feel really sorry for you guys watching this. This is like this, this is just a mess. But you should fall short of you. like it's a mess in here. God knows what it looks like to you, but your designs. Remember, life holds for you. Ow! I know. Let it be your designs. Remember, life holds for you. Ow! I know. Let it be. I know you must follow the sun. But remember, if you should fall short of your desires, remember life holds for you. I know, let it be. I know you must follow the sun. This is really nice. This I one. know, let it be. I know you must follow the sun. I know, let it be. I know you must follow the sun. I know, let it be. I know you must follow the sun. I know, let it be. I know you must follow the sun.
But remember, if you should fall short of your desires, remember life holds for you. I know, I know you must follow the sun. I'm mixing on my headphones, it probably sounds like ass, but whatever, I'll try it. Okay, I know I'm going a bit like, I'm not really doing, a, I'm doing a terrible job of explaining what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm kind of like, I'm just trying to find spacing, just trying to find sounds that talk to each other in an interesting way, you know, like the sounds that, um, uh, you know, just make you feel good, make you want to move. Um, this is the basis of everything that I try to find in a song um, to build on. Uh, it's a process. Welcome to the process. <clears throat> and there's just like little sounds that all kind of like play a part in all of this. So I've got this little... Um, let me unmute this. Two seconds. I'm I'm doing this all a bit backwards right now. I know. I know you must follow the sun. I know. I know you must follow the sun. I know. Yeah, let me fix that bass. I know. What's my process on finding these sounds that work? It's just trial and error. There's not like a, <clears throat> everything that I'm doing right now is experimenting. It's not, um, it, it, I'm not approaching this with methods that I know guarantee success. I'm approaching this with methods that I kind of, I'm okay with failure, at, you know, it's just like, and then if I find something that's inspiring and exciting, roll with it, build on it. Find those little things that you think have a possibility, build on it, try to try to develop it. If it's not working, bin it. If it's working, carry on. It's not, you know, that side of it's just not rocket science. Just try and build up the layers, just try and build up something substantial. I know you must follow the sun. I know. I 
Okay, so I wanted to try, there's a really cool technique in um, Ableton that a lot of people don't know about. Okay, so I've taken this drum loop that was like this before. There's a cool technique, so watch and learn. This is the loop before. Okay, so I've taken the bass out. I'm just using all the top end of this loop um, to add character to the loop that I have, all right? So I've kind of rearranged the drum loop a little bit, make it a bit cleaner for my loop. So it's like this now. Okay. So then there's a really, really, really simple technique. And it's just a, yeah, I think someone just mentioned it, it's a transient technique. So in here you can, um, you can select this, arrow here and then what happens is when you pull this down this value of 100 down it acts as like a gate a trigger a trigger of a gate and each of these um, on the screen here you see these marker points here these act as a trigger for a gate to like essentially what it does is it creates a volume curve that fades down after the you know after the audio so instead of this audio playing at its fullest it ends up being more of a, a stabby hit so watch what happens when i pull this down okay so i play it i'll play it and then i'll just gradually pull down the value and go right down to the bottom Okay, so when I'm listening to that in the beat, you'll hear like there's a little in the rhythm. The rhythm of this beat is going, dun, 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 but it's a bit muddy. Okay, so like I'll play the beat. I reckon if I pull down the transient of this, uh, uh, if I shape the the transient of this and make it a little bit more staccato, everything will tighten up on the rhythm. I think. So you know um there's quite a lot of noise in there that i just don't think needs to be there and like i for me little details like that um make a big difference in modern house music you want this to feel good in a small room you know you want it to feel tight you want it to feel contained in my opinion
you could recreate that. That's a nice tone on that. Interesting. Daniel Baston. Why is my feed not? Um... Why is my feed not showing everything? Two seconds. There's something about this. So if you go in the modulation, that this should be like a. triggering that that is the I do not know what's triggering that. I'm trying to figure this out. Mute. Oh, mute. There we go. So just getting that tone now is just tight. I wonder. Let me have a listen to that bass. Again, I'm on headphones. God knows what this really sounds like. Try this shit. Sub from that, and the grizzliness from this. Resonance go. There. I'm just going to work on this bass instead. It feels a bit more substantial.
Chris's blonde-ish. It's kind of like growing back in. Balding-ish plus um, aging. Just deteriorating in general. In front of your very eyes. <sighs> Drug you with this vocal as well. I know you must follow the sun wherever it leads. It but is. remember, if you should fall short of your desires, remember life holds for you one guarantee. I know, I know you must follow the sun. I know, I know you must follow the sun. Where is that race that I did? Is that here? What the fuck do you mean by added? Uh, added, you mean like Adderall? Mate, that's American as fuck and I'm British, so calm down. That's shit, that's stuff scares the shit out of me. I know, I know you must follow the sun.
that's the wrong key, isn't it? It's one out. Region, two beats. I'm just going to flick through the acapella, trying to find a. See if I can just find some different bits that work.
interesting. Let me. I'm now committed to trying to make Diana Ross work on this song, even if it shouldn't happen. I'm going to try. Alright, that's a nice option. So nudge that over, try and make another one. Yeah. Hello viewers, how you doing? Call your mum, say, mum, how you doing? You're wearing your mask, staying out of the shops no longer than you need to be in them. Cool, love you, avoid the Rona, get on Twitch, go check out this bang below average producer. He's on stream, showing people him making shit ideas. Thanks mum, love you, tell dad. find a tone it's good yeah yeah exactly <laughs> hey mom stop posting 5g conspiracy theories <laughs> oh my god <laughs> If I could dance music producers or use anything for a rhythm. Always have, 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 I know you must follow the sun. Guys, back in a second. I'm going to leave this playing for you. I know. I'm guaranteed. I know. I know you must follow the sun. Wherever it leads. But remember. If you should fall short of your design. Remember life holds for you. One guarantee. I know. All right, okay. What have I done? I know. I mean, I barely even worked on the rhythm. Let's just beef this up a bit. I need to try and see if I can make this work. Um, I really want to try and use my um, laptop speakers. This is going to be so much easier. Let's try this. See if this works.
I hate working in these things. I really do. It's just like, just give me those laptop speakers. Best speakers on the planet. MacBook Pro speakers. I've used, you know the worst thing is, every laptop I get, they sound different. Every single one. So I have like a couple of months where I was just like, oh no, am I gonna lose my sound? Nah, man, the high end's amazing on these laptops. Or are you just talking about the high end on this track? Got to buy food in, so I've been a dickhead and I'm just sat here dreaming about food. I think Gita's on the case, helping me. I'm gonna try out a loop in. Okay, are these vocals from a vocal pack or an original? Neither. These are a cappellas from a legend, Diana Ross. Welcome to all the new followers, by the way. How you doing? Stick a two in the chat if you're new. Say hello. We've got some really nice people in this chat, really nice mods. And if you're not a fuckwit, they'll treat you lovely. Oh, sorry. I forgot to turn the mic off.
Trying to find textures. Uh, I want to make that a bit dirtier. So, use that thing I've been using for ages. Well, a lot lately. What's this plugin? Nice color. Let's just see. I'll look at that after. Just that. There we go. Low res it. I know. 
Hello, new followers. Hello, new people. Hello, everybody. Are you watching at work? Hiding your phone? Just like wondering, is it worth working and trying to watch this stream when the music's so bad? Let me try some other stuff now. I don't know how this is going to feel, you know, just experiment and see if it feels better when it drops in like that. Um, just a, it's just a process of trial and error. I know, I know you must follow the sun wherever it leads. But remember, if you should fall short of your desires, remember life holds for you one guarantee. I know. I love organs. You know, that's actually the instrument that I learned to play music on, the church organ. I know. I know you must follow the sun. 
church vibe going on here. Got the organs. 
That's it. That's the only thing. <laughs> um, I mean, what other connections have we got with the church? Um, if I stepped in one, I'd probably burn, combust, just like. <laughs> um. Chris, what monitors are you using? I'm using my MacBook Pro laptop speakers because I love them. Um, yeah. What else? What else? What else? What else? All right. I, I'm liking this vibe. It's super simple, super chill, but I like it. I know. I know you must follow the sun. But remember, if you should fall short of your designs. And I guess if you don't believe me, I mean, I guess this doesn't really prove anything, but like, yeah, I've got no sound card plugged in. I know, I know you must follow the sun wherever it leads. But remember, if you should fall short of your designs, remember life holds for you. One guarantee. Hello Diplo, how are you? 
I wonder when we'll see each other again.
Master Chain is a limiter, sorry. I forget I have to turn my mic on. Um, yeah, what else? What else are you asking? Um, yes, I remembered about the arrangement. I'm going to write it down, actually, with my trusty pen instrument. So uh, I'll do an arrangement video. Yeah, because why not? You know who'd be great at doing an arrangement video? And he was in here earlier. He's Diplo. Really, really good at arrangements. So if he's streaming, ask him. Show us your ways. Um, what else? What else is people saying? Um, yeah, this is fun. I like. I, I think I've kind of like got to this point now. I just want to sit with it and see, see what ideas flow from it. That's been a good like. That's been a good two hour, um, you know, jamming session. I don't know if there's anything like, um, you know, crazy that I've done. Well, not like, not in my opinion. It's just sort of, I think the main thing that, how I'd summarize the last two hours was just trying to um, just find a groove, just try and find sounds that play off each other, have, have a bit of movement, having, having sections that you can, move between and seeing how those sections feel how those transitions feel uh, what emotion they give you um, if it feels like the track kind of progresses um, there's some good stuff in here it's you know it's not it's probably not the maybe not the biggest song that you play in the night 
it's got a vibe um and yes i just started this at one o'clock so yeah um i like it thank you diana ross for um not giving me permission to use your vocal um but i have i'm sorry and uh yeah so i, I basically took I took Diana Ross, Ain't No Mountain High Enough. You know? So, um, Diana Ross is a legend. If you don't know who Diana Ross is, then... What was the band that she was in? The, uh, the, the, the... I can't remember. She was in a big band. The... What were they called? The... Oh, Brain Fart. Someone's going to know. Supremes, the Supremes, thank you very much. Thank you, the Supremes. So, yeah, she's amazing. Uh, I think I'm gonna call it quits now, um, but thank you. If, you have, if, if anyone's got any questions about what I've done, shoot now, let's go for it. Go over it. Yeah, I'll play it in a second. I'll play it from the top in a second. Whatever I have. Go for it, Alex. Yeah, about this track. No, I, I just, I don't know. I've just picked up acapellas over the years, you know, just, I just have lots of stuff on the computer, so. Yeah, I'll solo the I'll solo the low end. Yeah, that's it. That's the that's the low end. Um, I like that one. Do you think self-confidence plays a big role in making music? Like at the beginning, you didn't seem very confident then. The more you made, the more you took better decisions. Um, yeah, I really do. It's, um, okay, self-confidence might not really play an important role in making music, but I think it plays a massive, massive role in whether you'll end up ever hearing music from these people because um in my opinion there's so much great music out there that doesn't get heard because of really really poor decisions made by um people without confidence not like just not having the not having the um confidence to honestly just not having the confidence to let yourself be put out there for ridicule because that's essentially what this is for music you, you kind of you know you can make music and you can feel comfortable about making something but there's a there's a true vulnerability in releasing something letting someone hear what you've created your idea your your art whatever it's like it's a, it's a vulnerability and and I think that people genuinely struggle with letting go of um, of their creation, which put, essentially it's just like a finale. This, this means this is done. This is my final pass at this. Judge me on it. Because, come on, everyone judges music. It's important to people. And, and people are actually pretty damn cruel about their opinions on music. You know, when you think about, you think about all those artists that you just... Um, they get called fucking trash for for the music that they made you know um and it's fucking horrible it's absolutely horrible and some people really struggle to deal with that and uh, I, I think it stops them from releasing anything so yeah i do think self-confidence plays a big part but at the end of the day you just got to get on with it and people you know people are going to have opinions people are going to like it people are going to not i'm sure people had opinions about what i did today um I'm sure some people liked it. I'm sure some people thought that's just a bag of old wank. 
And luckily, I couldn't give a fuck. So um, that helps. But for some people, it's deeply personal and it's um, and it's difficult to deal with. So, yeah. Uh, what else? No name prod. Chris, how to stop mixing and mixing and finally release? Because thinking it sounds not so good. You know, that's just down to... I do spend a lot of time listening to my own stuff and um, uh, just making sure I'm confident in the mix, making sure I feel it's hitting in all the right places. It's really important to me. Um, and, you know, I, I, I have processes that, that I go through and everyone has their own thing, you know, where I've got friends that I send stuff to. I, I gauge their reactions. Um, I gauge the reactions of people that don't know anything about mu uh, don't know anything about music production, and um, I pick up on little things that they say to me about how they perceive the sound, how it makes them feel, and I interpret that in um, uh, adjustments that I make in the song, mix wise, or you know whatever. It's just little things you need to learn. At the end of the day, but like, this music's just it, it's a tool to to kind of make people feel a certain way, right? To feel emotions. I want to do that as good as possible. Um, what else? What else we got here? What's the fastest song you've ever made? I don't know, like an hour or two? Some things come together really quickly. Um, like the idea for Deceiver was made in an hour. So um, yeah, I did that on the, I did that on the train after, um, on the way from Boom to uh, Antwerp. I think it's Antwerp. Um, the day after I played um, Tomorrowland a couple of years ago. So I, I found, I found that old demo and I've, I've changed the mix quite a bit, but like the, like it's all, it was all made there. Everything you, everything you hear except for the vocal was there in an hour. So, um, you know, what else? A song you made on the Red Bull Remix Lab was fast. Yeah. It's just a simple idea. Um, have you ever watched other people producing on Twitch? No. Um, what else? If I'm nervous about sharing a track, how do I know you will listen to it if I submit for your demo session? I, you won't know. You'll know if I, if I play it on the submission. I don't make any guarantees I'm going to listen to it. I get loads of demos. Um, sorry, but you know. Um, what do you look for in black book demos uh, submissions? I just, I just look to be excited just by anything in music. I just want to be just want to be excited by anything that I'm listening to. Um, the bird, the birdie man. Do you have Chris like bread and butter? I think I know what you mean. Do, you have, do I like, like set things that I do all the time um, in my production? I probably do, but it's mostly subconsciously. You know, I can't. I don't actively think about things that I do. I definitely have habits, but it's more people point those habits out to me that work with me more than I'm aware that I do it. Does that make sense? Like Chris Lorenzo probably knows how I produce better than I know how I produce. He knows my habits because he works with me all the time. I know his habits. Um, maybe a bit more than he's aware too. You know? Yeah. Do I ever, did I ever have trouble with procrastination? Of course, I'm a lazy fuck sometimes. 
especially this year. You know, it's just like a, this is a really genuinely difficult time for producers because um, uh, I think, okay, I think it's a very difficult time for dance music producers, people that are predominantly making music to make people dance in nightclubs because um, the that kind of purpose has been kind of for the most part taken away it's really it's really strange it doesn't you know i can still make the music but there's just this like weird sort of drive to it that's completely different and um you know there's like this over the past six months i guess it's been like this sort of search for um like a i guess like an adjustment uh, adjustment to the purpose i don't know that sounds a bit sounds a bit wank but i don't know just just getting used to the whole new situation staying staying creative staying um uh, staying inspired and um i think things like this are fun it's, it's nice it's nice creating um in like this vulnerable state where there's lots of people watching and uh um it's a, you know it's a shame that while there's the risk of everyone hearing me make a good idea there's just as much chance of you guys catching me watch a really bad one too so but it kind of keeps me moving forward it's fun so yeah um so there you go and then yeah there is one thing that i do recommend that everyone sets up um and that would be you can set it up so that when you create a new track there's like a set amount of plugins or whatever or settings on the channel when you set it up. So if I go Apple T and I add a track here, immediately that channel is at minus 10. And I think that's important because um, it encourages me to build my tracks with some headroom. I only started doing this like a, a year or two ago. And it's definitely made a big difference in in just just creating just more headroom at the top of the track so that i'm not all, like constantly in the red having said that i'm definitely one of those people that turns up more than he turns down so um which is which is a bad habit i know the best mixers say that you turn down instead of turning up um but fuck it i've, I've built a career on bad habits so yeah um that's one that i recommend uh, Kyle Perez, for me, that stuff does not matter. That does not matter at all. I just have headroom and I adjust the, the master to whatever, you know, just adapt. So, yeah. All right, let me play this quickly from the top, of, you know, whatever I did today. So this was started uh, two, two and a half hours ago, maybe less, all right? you must 
just follow the sun. That's what I've done. That was fun. That's got a great vibe to it. So, yeah. Um, thank you to everyone for following, uh, watching. And, um, yeah, for those that don't know, my name is Chris Lake. I am a DJ. I am a producer. And now I am a streamer. So, um, we have a Black Book and Chris Lake Discord. Link will be in the chat. Um, we've got all the lovely, lovely people that are following us um, in there, chatting, talking about very th various things, gaming, um, music production, demo submissions, um, all sorts, memes, gambling, whatever. There's been some really nice people in there. So um, if you want to, if you want to get involved, participate, jump in there. Um, it's a really, really good community developing in there. Um, we have the, the latest release I've got is my um, edit of Josemont, um All Night Alone. That is available on all platforms and the extended version is available on Beatport right now. If you want to go grab that, um, any uh, purchases of that would be much appreciated. It will help us get into the top 10 of Beatport, which all DJs just love having and talking about. So um, yeah. That's it. And then uh, what else? What else? Anything else to tell you? I think that's it. Thank you to everyone that subscribed. Thank you to everyone that followed. Hello to all the new, um, all, the, all the new people watching. This has been fun. I enjoyed this. I'll come on again um, and work on some more music. I'll probably work on this. I just want to have a, like, I'm not going to go all the way through on this. I want to step back and um, get some perspective on what I've done. So, um, thank you to everyone. Again, I will uh, catch up with you.